Hello everybody, today I'm going to continue the discussion about the relationship existing between vaccines and cancer. That was one of the questions of the audience and in the previous video, you can check in the playlist, I briefly introduced this conception. There is indeed a relationship between uh, vaccines and cancer. And the main reason is because vaccines against viruses and bacteria, for example, they can elicit a type of immune response that we call Th1, a type of immune response that fights cancer. Remember, there is a topic that I discussed in the previous video called cancer immune surveillance. We are developing cancer all the time and the immune system that we have is so important and trained to check these cells, these cancer cells, and wipe them out from our body constantly. So this is a process called cancer immune surveillance. So most of the scientists uh, that discovered the important steps, babe steps of immunology, they are Nobel Prize winners. So one important scientist is this one here in the figure, Professor Baru Benasehaf. He simply discovered one of the most important molecules of the immune system, which is called AMHC. I will not go into details about the name and the functions, but is one of the most important molecules of the immune system because it connects both innate and adaptive immunity uh, together in order to fight any pathogen and cancer. And he discovered that in 1970s, he won the Nobel Prize for this discovery. And his student here is Professor Lloyd J. Yode. His student was a PhD student he developed uh, the first translational immunotherapy approach. When I say translational, it's because it was applied in humans. So he basically discovered that he can stimulate the immune system of cancer patients using a BCG vaccine that fights tuberculosis. And tuberculosis is a disease caused by bacteria. So the background of this science is because we have a type of immune response which is called Th1. I will not explain the details here, this is topic for the series of lectures of this channel, but the type of response Th1 is the one that fights virus, bacteria and cancer in the same way. So by stimulating the background of the immune response that we have circulating in our body and in our lymphatic system, he could stimulate with this vaccine the type of Th1 response that ultimately uh, could raise unspecific, again, unspecific immune responses to fight cancer cells. This BCD vaccine for tuberculosis is used until today to, to treat bladder cancer. So it's a very straightforward and strong approach to stimulate the immune system to fight different types of solid cancers. Professor Old is considered today the father of the modern immunotherapy and the co-founder of the cancer immunology field. Previously, cancer was mostly treated by chemotherapy, radiotherapy, so surgery is still the most effective if you can just cut, cut it out from the body, but still you have the metastasis. So in order to fight metastasis, previously in the past, you used chemotherapy with a lot of side effects, not very effective in the long term, patient wouldn't survive in the, in the two to five years survival rate. But now with immunotherapy, the survival rates are significantly increased. So immunotherapy today is the new milestone and a new way of treating advanced solid cancers. And it was thanks to the initial studies developed by Professor Ode that we have the immunotherapy today. So one of his students, Professor Luis Travassos, he worked, for example, in the development of immunotherapeutic approaches to develop vaccines that could prevent or even fight metastatic melanoma development. So metastatic melanoma is one of the most resistant type of cancer that we have. It's a, a widespread model used in, in many, many labs to develop treatments. So Professor Travassos, one of his students of Professor Old, developed vaccination approaches to, to fight cancer. And another very important researcher that also from the school of Professor Old is the one who received the first award from uh, the Cancer Research Institute, which is no one but Professor James P. Allison. 
he developed the immunotherapy for cancer using immune checkpoint inhibitors. And they all came together with the same discoveries or, or the ground research and science developed by Professor Oud as a student of Professor Baru Ben Aserhaf. Professor Allison received the Nobel Prize because with his immunotherapy, we are able to improve patient survival in different types of clinical settings. Okay, and this is also very close to my heart because I have the honor to say that I studied with Professor Travassos. So currently, I'm also working uh, with metastatic melanoma to improve immunotherapy. All these conceptions that vaccines can indeed stimulate immune response to fight cancer. This is true, okay? So bear in mind that vaccinations are important approaches to prevent and stop uh, infective disease all around the world. And it's, it has more benefits that we can imagine. So this is part of uh, one of the secrets of the immunology, immunological sciences that I would like to share today. And probably I'm going to open uh, a series of videos here about secrets of the immunology. I will bring more curiosities for you so you'll be aware of ways to treat your immune system in order to prevent cancer in the future. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe in the channel and leave your like. And if you have any questions as well, please leave in the comments below. I'm more than happy to come here and comment, make a video special for you. Okay, take care and bye bye.